Hello and welcome back. Um, this is a video on how I went about installing Java on my Windows 7 machine 32-bit uh, PC. Uh, I did not have Java uh, or any component of Java in control panel. I checked uh, via control panel uh, programs. There was nothing there. So I decided to uninstall Java because a particular attached storage device requested it because I was trying to install something and it said you haven't got Java. Now I used to have Java in XP and I used to update it before but uh, this is also a recap on how to go about it if, you, if you've not done it and also to basically remind me for future reference. Um, the first thing you want to do is you, you, you go to the website www.java.com uh, back forward slash en forward slash as it says there and it says Java and, uh, plus you download today free download that's the link to download the Java update and um, the other up place you update is java.com forward slash en forward slash download index dot gsp as it's shown here and you can click that link to get the latest version 7 update 9 for your computer uh, this video was made on the 21st October 2012 and I'm going to take you through a few steps than what I did the other day to install it because I was having problems and obviously I did research in Google etc whatever you and then I, I came about doing it this way first of all what you want to do is you go to this uh, website Java SE download www.oracle.com uh, technet work uh, forward slash java forward slash java a's uh, forward slash downloads forward slash index to html don't worry i'll put all the links in the description uh, for you um, now this actually tells you um, obviously you have to be careful when you hover uh, so if you go to download you get all these options so i'm going to get away from there and you want this one and um, if i click on downloads let's see if you go there if not, I'll go back. Now I'll go back. So you you want that link to take you there, and it's that uh, breadcrumb trail as you can see there. Now it says latest release for Java downloads, uh, the update, and uh, so basically before you update it, you need to have the Java component. Now if you look here, you need there's one for developer and one for the runtime environment uh, it's this is the important bit uh, it says what Java do I need you must have a copy of Java, JRE Java runtime environment on your PC to run the Java applications and applets that's how simple it is if you're a developer you obviously need the JD DK the Java development kit I'm not going to bother with that one uh, I'm only going which also includes JRE so if you're a developer you can have that uh, this one I would leave that uh, what I did was I downloaded the JRE the runtime uh, when you download it it's um, this file the JRE hyphen 7u n hyphen windows hyphen i586 so I've got a windows 7 32-bit machine this was the one I wanted and I th you get it from um, uh, if you click on uh, this part pretty sure it goes to that one then yeah so if I if you if you get to this page then you want the JRE and there's all the instructions and everything all the links I haven't bothered with that but I just dumb, uh, just clicked on that because you need the JRE to update so you click on this and you're taken to this page uh, and you're taken to the Java SE runtime environment 7 downloads now if you look down here you've got the license agreement which defaults to de decline so you need to accept it by taking that now you've got to choose the product you have and I chose Windows um, uh, 
the exe file, this one. Now, if you can see, the Windows um, exe file 29.72 uh, megabytes, which is one, two, three, fourth one from the bottom. So it's this one, exe file. So you click on the accept license agreement. Thank you for accepting blah blah blah. You may now download download the program. So you can either right click and save link as or you click and it'll download this file. Uh that one. It's thirty approximately thirty something, thirty and a half, thirty four for three one kilobytes it says here. Although it's twenty nine point seven megabytes uh size. Right, so what you want to do is you want to run this uh, application and then it'll carry on the, just follow the instructions to install it. Uh, I think you have to obviously run it as administrator. Once you've done that, then you go and either go to the update from here, Java update, or you can just go to their main page, which is that one, free download and if you go to or, or that one click on that now it also says do I have Java and you can check if you have if you don't have Java it'll go through the steps and and uh, verify and I'll show you that I have successfully installed it and it'll sh uh, verify it but if you go to this page and you go back to the main page if you get to this page, which is the main page, www.oracle.com forward slash tech network forward slash java forward slash index.html, it lists everything in Java basically. And if you go to downloads, hover over downloads, the, not that link, not that one, to downloads, and carefully go down and go to Java for your computer, click on that, you can go to that that page and then it'll give you the latest update it will actually tell you whether you, you have Java so if you click on that because I've got Java it's, it'll start verifying and you have to run this always etc so I'm going to run it this time and it'll go through the check um, but because I've got it it'll give you give me a tick and say yes I have got it there you go congratulations you have recommended Java installed so that's what you do after you've installed it. So what you want to do first is the JRE, the runtime component. Then you go to the this one to download the free Java update. And when you download it, you click on that. And then you agree the start and free download, which is only a small file, 854 kilobytes. Click on that. And um, it, it, it can do it. Do it. Uh, um, I've got Komodo Dragon. You can do it in that, or Chrome, or Explorer. And this is the setup file. Then you get the second one, Java setup seven, eight seven five kilobytes, right? So I won't do that for now because I've already got that to click that. Um, now, if you want to do it in Chrome, uh, then you you got the Chrome install one here, which is the same size, okay? But if you go to that page it says downloading a file in Chrome and system requirements so if you click on that <coughs> link it goes to support and then it talks you through that a uh, bit fiddly to go around doing it that way but I managed to you you have to um, if you click on that system requirement it tells you it's Windows 7 Vista XP etc because I went Windows 7 32 bit that this works so we'll close that one and if you've got C not the right operating system you got all the Java downloads which takes you to this page um, in fact I'll copy that link and uh, I'll put it there for you for, for in, in, the, in the description uh, I think I'll put it uh, down there somewhere and so minimize that and you got all the recommended Java so you got uh, what should I choose online offline 
after installing, restart browser, etc. All the instructions. So you got the Windows, the Mac, downloads, Linux, Solaris, a uh, whole list there. For but because we got Windows, I got Windows machine. You got the two the instructions there, and um, I, I won't bother with that. But yes, yeah, so you you can remove old versions, uh, and it tells you how to do that. If you click that, what is Java? It tells you that. Which one should I choose? If you do that. Um, tells you which to use, but for Windows 7, uh, Windows 7 Pro, Home, and 32-bit um, machine, you want the the one I just mentioned, the Java runtime component, which you get from this link, and that one, and the update, which you get from you can do it from here, or you get it from the you know the from there for example agree and download uh, so JRE first and then the update and then what you'll do is you'll uh, you'll find you will have Java in your control panel uh, in your pro in your computer so you click on comp it'll put a Java comp applet if for some sample you're doing it with the, uh, your um, browser open uh, for example Chrome you may have to um, Close the browser and allow the add-in or plug-in, um, and um, and um, to and and then when verifying, so you must enable the applet add-on, and also very uh, then once you've, it's installed, you can go to that link I mentioned to verify that you have um, Java. There we be do I have Java in there so that you can verify that and then you have to run the component which it'll obviously find the runtime <coughs> and then uh, <coughs> throw in your uh, message that you have got Java and that's how you go about um, updating and uh, in, uh, to make sure updating Java or installing the runtime and and uh, installing Java if you haven't got Java at all and that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. Uh, bye for now.